So I've been drying the chaga out on the fire the last couple of days. Drying it out helps preserve it. It also makes it a lot lighter to carry with all that moisture gone. And as it dries out, it takes on that beautiful rich colour. You really see the colours coming out in the chaga now. Look. That's this year's chaga harvest. Beautiful pieces there. It's beginning to weigh lighter now. Look at that. I wonder how old that tree is. Tree. That's a beautiful tree. The Seven Tanya seen some red squirrels too. They're a couple of days back jumping among the pines. Absolutely beautiful to see the red squirrels about. We've seen some big mountain hares too. piece of chaga over here very low down on the trunk of the tree almost near the ground small piece of chaga here I'll just move that camera slightly. And here's a molehill. 
plenty of moles around this area. Little mammals that live under the ground. They burrow under the ground and they eat roots of vegetation. You can see one came up here. And the soil is not frozen so it must have come up recent enough. Yep, lots of moles. Anyway, chaga. There's a small piece. And I can see some more over there. I think I'll take a small piece of this, but I'll leave plenty on the tree so it grows again. That's what I've come here for. I like to leave plenty on the tree so it grows again. And I don't like to dig into the the actual timber at the wood of the tree. I don't like to damage the tree at all. Not too much there, I'll leave that. Seems to be plenty around this area. That's enough off that tree. I didn't do any harm there. Still plenty of chaga there to grow back. And the tree is on hand. No point in being greedy. Now, I'll move on. Here's more here, but it's just out of reach. I can see three pieces up there. Out of reach. So there's definitely chag in this area. I'm going to scout this area out for a while. See what we can find. I see more in a tree up there, but it's about... Uh, it could be about 25 feet up the trunk of the tree. I'll have a look around this area and see what I can come up with. If I find more, I'll give you a look. But here's a bigger piece here. I can take more off this. Yeah, that's a nice find there. I'll take about one third. I'll take about one third of that there. There's lots. Now that's a nice find. I'm going to go to work on that.
And yet again, another mother load. There's a huge piece of chaga here. I've cut off two slices from here. Two small slices, there's still plenty left in the tree. But I have enough, I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to leave that. I can see a lot of trees around this area that have plenty of chaga on them. And, uh, you know, just, I have enough. I have enough to do me 12 months or more and that's that's all I want so I'm very happy and this forest here still has tons of chaga left in it so thank you forest for offering all the chaga to me now it's time to go there's a storm coming in Storm Eric, I think they're calling it. A big wind storm coming on later on. So, uh, and it really is, it's beginning to get windy now. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.